So, so your first day, you're gonna come in, you're gonna be confused, possibly scared, uh, excited about what you're gonna learn. And usually what happens is you come in here and we do a couple warm ups, and then we show you a specific move. Now, what's really interesting about this is that whenever you're doing that move in practice, it's really easy. You're, you're going through the motions, you're like, wow, I could totally see myself putting an arm bar on the guy or putting a, a choke on the guy or something along those lines. And then what happens is later on in the class, you go live and you try and execute that move and it doesn't work. And at least for me personally, there's this feeling of, why is it so easy when I'm practicing it? And then why is it so hard when I'm doing it in real life? You know, what's, what's the difference there? If I, if I know the move here and I can remember the move, why can't I execute it over here? And what happens in this, this space right here is what's, what I call a transition. So the transition being, you know, how do we bridge theory and reality? So all these moves in life, you're always going to be setting up a guy, you're going to be pushing, pulling, whatnot, trying to get him into space. And all this involves timing of a move. So if I'm doing an arm bar on a guy and I want to isolate his arm, if I go to reach and grab his arm, if he pulls back before me, he has beat me to that transition. So after you learn the moves, then to get them in real life, now you've got to work on the transitions. How do I make this guy put his arm here so I can set up the arm before he pulls it back? How do I beat him to the transition? So realize when you're coming in and you're learning, as we're going through and you're showing you moves and you're, and you're practicing them, you're just learning the theory. You're learning how the moves work. To apply them in real life, you gotta learn the timing of the transitions. Keep that in mind.